We must convince them that we don't have to settle Mario for two Cuomo. cities. Mario Cuomo! This it is, is why the f***ing Democratic Party over people. here has been more woke than yous. They've had Italian representation for Wait, years you over more? here. What the f*** are you talking and about, no. dude? There is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. Where we unite America and a white to America bomb the f*** out of the America Middle East. You deserve health care you can afford, a job that pays you fairly. You deserve child care and paid sick leave while you work. Pay into Social you can Security and Medicare. And thanks to the voters across the country in both red states and blue states. Hell yeah. we won. A new generation of leaders is rising up. And with Joe Biden in the White House, there's no limit to what we can do. I need affordable health care. In Nevada, we're making drug prices more transparent. So people with chronic illnesses won't go broke while drug companies get rich. Joe's working to protect Literally the Trump the campaign. People Literally the Trump no campaign promise. Trump is doing that too. right now. He'll build an economy that rewards work, not wealth, and get rid of the Trump tax cuts that only benefit big corporations. Dude, this is and hilarious, the rich. dude. Joe Biden personally renegotiated uh, tax cuts for the wealthy that were supposed to sunset under the Obama administration, uh, the George W. Bush era tax cuts, after sidestepping Harry Reid, which is hilarious because the Democrats in that circumstance had the upper hand and they did not need to solidify those tax cuts. Yet Joe Biden said, no, Jack. No, I don't mean Obabe. I mean, Joe Biden was the person who literally, Joe Biden was the person who literally said, step aside, Harry Reid, I got this, and made those George W. Bush era tax cuts for permanent who built this country for the corporation uh, for All the wealth. you i'm tracy ellis ross and how exciting to hear from young elected leaders from across the country a perfect way to begin night two of the democratic national convention uniting america tonight is all about leadership this unprecedented moment calls for leadership steady inclusive leadership as a black woman, I find myself at a crucial intersection in American politics. For far too long, black female leadership in this country has been utilized without being acknowledged or valued. But we are turning the tide. Hello, Kamala. What America doesn't need is more mediocre old white men in positions of power. What America actually needs is younger black women with the same kind of politics as mediocre old white men in positions of power. This is going to save us. Good evening. I'm Sally Yates. Speaking at a political convention is something I never expected to be doing. But the future of our democracy is at stake. This stuff plays well to the MSNBC crowd, but it makes it seem like Democrats are even more partisan than Republicans are, when that's not even the case. I wish they were actually partisan, and I wish they said partisan shit rather than operated in a way that made Republicans say, look, we're right. People in power, prominent positions of power are, are they're Democrats, and they operate in a way like Democrats do to defend Democrats. See, that's the attorney general she's speaking at the dnc and what the problem here is i want democrats to say the republicans and not show that they're trying to the republicans i know you're memeing rightfully on the dnc but chat mirrors you no matter how hard you dunk on trump only part of the community views you part of the time chat's response that the dnc is equal to any trump press review i don't think the dems will revolutionize america if biden wins in november but we know our best it's our best option I wish we would stop memeing on them so hard. The like it or not, and, and the chat is influenced. 2016 went down like so. But dude, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? I'm going to keep ripping Democrats a new asshole as much as I want to, okay? This notion that I'm going to censor myself and like and advocate for things I don't believe in exclusively because the matter at fucking hand, the, the task at hand is so courage, significant. Get a better candidate then. I'm doing my job, okay? Joe Biden is better than Donald Trump. Joe Biden is better than Donald Trump. I've said this a million, gajillion times over. All this Russiagate shit that they're like pumping in at the DNC is just feeding into the libs who've been watching this entire process with significant material consequences to hundreds of millions of Americans. They're watching it like 
a TV show for the past four years, and this is just a filler episode. What we're watching right now is the Benghazi uh, war cry of liberals. So I'm gonna f meme on it, dude. If me memeing on the DNC's hyper focus on like Russiagate or some shit is truly compromising the integrity or the security or the chances that the Democrat can win from my tiny ass uh, uh my tiny ass megaphone that i have then my god we have much much larger problems donald trump has divided our country diminished our greatness and demeaned everything that this statue god, represents Joe so much 170,000 americans have died from covid and donald trump says it is what it is president should never say it is what it is that was a really bad line from trump on you the that's a great Line of, of attack. It crisis. is what it is. Should always be mentioned forever. Hand. With President Biden, Vice President Harris, and a Democratic majority, we will make health care affordable for all. I'm gonna f mute him. I hate him. Let me just tell you something. Something that I consider to be very suspicious. Why the f aren't they constantly talking about the public option? Why aren't they doing every f thing they can? Let's say we lost Medicare for all. We lost. Okay. Why aren't they constantly talking about? The public option it is insanely suspicious to me that they're not already gearing up for a devastating pro uh, devastating general election where there is going to be hundreds of millions of dollars in ads pumped against the public option why aren't they advocating for it already setting up the ground for counter messaging partially i'm fearful that they're even going to abandon the public option i'm genuinely concerned that they're going to abandon the public option which by the way is like i mean just Commit Harakiri politically at that point, okay? Joe knows well, too well, the sorrows and struggles of being a family caregiver. From Joe's time as a young widower, thrust into single parenthood with a demanding job, to he and Jill caring for their own parents and their son Bo at the end of their lives. Okay, Jill that's it. Also I'm done. Of no, for those this is really weird. Family. They constantly talk about how everyone Joe Biden knows is dead. That's not a good selling point, dude. Is it a good selling point? Why the fuck are they depressing as shit for the past two days? It's like, dude, literally people look at Joe Biden and they fucking die. You have to vote for him. Constantly, the number one, like, what is this? The only time he's ever expressed empathy is when his fucking family died? It's so weird. Joe's got two speeds, okay? Smell your hair or mourner in chief. And nothing in between, Jack. So obviously we gotta go with mourner in chief. Good evening. A presidential election is the world's most important job interview. Oh, 200, hell yeah, people dude. Hell yeah, destroying brother. millions of jobs and small businesses. Hey. How did Donald I'm Trump I'm mourning respond? right now, but you know but who else knows how to mourn the nation's death? Joe Biden. This is psychotic. Bill Clinton, Clinton getting TV, a speaking point, like a Bill Clinton media, talking at the DNC while the rest of the party is saying trump is a rapist is so insane to me it will never be normal it's literally just peak hypocrisy dude people are gonna get so mad at me but for that last tweet i just put uh, blasted i said interested in choice having jeffrey epstein and Ghislaine maxwell's friend bill clinton speak at the dnc while the rest of the party is calling trump a rapist but it's true We're, we can't do this we can't have bill clinton on on the day that like the daily mail leaks his Leaks him getting a massage from a sex trafficked uh, victim. We can't have him come and do a, d deliver so a, a headline now. speech at the DNC. Tonight, this is insanity, dude. And as you watch tonight's decidedly unconventional roll call and reflect on the diversity of our nation, remember, you too are part of the American story. And no matter where you come from or where you're watching from tonight, you have a place in Joe Biden's Democratic Party. Yeah, literally. Like, as in, even if you're coming from Little St. James Island, you have a place in the Joe Biden Democratic Party. Bernie's moral clarity has emboldened the Democratic Party's fight for justice. The grassroots energy of his supporters has cemented important advances in our platform. Which is why the movement I love talking about Trump him at the DNC where he got absolutely change. his cheeks clapped at pretty much name. every... Great talk so far. Good evening, bienvenidos, and Woo! thank you to everyone here today endeavoring towards a better, more just future. In a time when millions of people in the United States are looking for deep, 
systemic solutions to our crises of mass evictions, unemployment, and lack of health care, in el espíritu del pueblo, and out of a love for all people, I hereby second the nomination of Senator Bernard Sanders of Vermont for President of the United States of America. And the great state of Alabama cast 52 votes for our next president of these United States, Joe Biden. I hate this. Alaska. So sad. When my daughter was murdered in Parkland, Joe Biden called to share in our family's grief. What is I this quickly background, learned about dude? His decency. This used to be an abandoned building. Now it's a thriving art studio, a community hub, a place where independent artists can make their name and parents can bring their kids during these difficult days the of f- learning. Strong That's child because abuse, our people dude. make that. What the f- they're making him hold up a little aviator. My American dream, I'm living it. A 25-acre organic farm on a lake, a roadside farm stand, and a bed and breakfast. My husband and I aren't corporate tycoons. We just want to make an honest living and feed our community. Small businesses like ours are the backbone of rural economies across America. Please. All right, bro, flex Let's more, dude. We get businesses. it, dude. Okay, yeah. Hey, Maine hello. Nine yeah. Votes for Look at me. Oh, votes for I'm our in a next loving relationship Joe with my Biden. husband. I have a bed and breakfast. Mary. Some of us are terminally single minnesota i'm here in minnesota the home of the headwaters of the mississippi river we know that a bridge shouldn't fall down in the middle of america that's and then, better night this country a from our queen, cities to our dude. suburbs i love cross dude the i really love amy klobuchar northern mariana islands half a day to roll and hello from paradise the northern mariana islands we may be far away but we're american citizens you know but what? we don't get to vote for president it is cool so please this the is Mariana uniquely Island American to, to just have so many different f- territories, so many different states five with five so many different cultures five. and ethnic backgrounds. It is kind of cool five. seeing this in the roll call, despite the fact that, you know, each individual Ohio. state that Seems like every time working people, every time there's an IBEV, oh, promise, they wind up getting screwed. Oh, I spoke too soon. Plan. Rhode Island, Rhode Island, the ocean state where our restaurant and fishing <laughs> industry have been decimated by this pandemic. Oh, uh, lucky to I have this. a I is a f- in all 50 America, states. Dude. President so Joe behind. Biden. South Carolina. The funniest thing that's happened so far is that hashtag resistance Twitter doesn't know anything about politics because they just started paying attention to politics because Donald Trump is the only racist president that's ever existed, of course. So now they're mad at AOC for endorsing Bernie Sanders, which is literally convention protocol. Like when you make, when you go over the threshold, when you go over the threshold, someone has to like announce you and people think that like AOC went against the party and like endorsed Bernie Sanders. So like they're all freaking out. The best part about this entire thing has been just seeing all the different states and just wondering why they exist as like separate entities. You know what I mean? Like Montana being one of them. Maybe even Wyoming is another. It's great. This is so whack, dude. (laughs) Bro, I swear to God. He looks confused. He's like, where am I, Jack? (laughs) Oh, God. Please, please just like, you can die after you win the election. Please just survive. Oh, Lord. Please survive till you, till the inauguration. You know what I mean? Or at least the election. I think it transfers over to Kamala if he dies before the inauguration, right? Like, just as long as you win the election, we're good. Guys, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my shirt. Like, I'm lib the up i'm ready to go dude i'm ready to party what's up Ding nobody Joe come at me Kamala with Harris my lib credential now we're going to talk about a topic that touches all of our lives health care the affordable care oh, act God. is game changing if these mother don't at least at the very least start advocating for the public option i'm going to lose my mind again and again they were told to give up on affordable health care the- if this entire thing is going to be about how like we need to defend ACA I'm losing it dude if they resort back to we need to defend ACA because Trump is attacking the ACA I'm going to lose my mind dude look we're going to make sure we don't lose that ACA we're going to provide a a Medicare like option as a public option and any state where there is a if you qualify for Medicaid and the state hasn't provided it you'd automatically be enrolled 
I'm going to protect you like I tried to protect my own. That's family. the first mention of the public oh, option so I far that I've heard this entire time. That was the first mention of the public option. I'm looking I'm here. I, I wasn't familiar with what the f was going on. I thought we were still going with the public option, right? And apparently, like, and we we already know that uh, the healthcare industry has been. The healthcare industry has been putting out ads trying to urge Democrats to abandon the public option. And apparently, congressional aides are saying that the party will not push the public option initiative if Joe Biden wins the presidency, at least according to the Jacobin uh, article that I'm reading from here by David Soroto and Andrew Perez. The signs of retreat come as healthcare industry profits are skyrocketing and the interest campaign's cash is flooding into the Democratic coffers. The Partnership for America's Healthcare Future, a, gr a front group created by health insurance, pharma, and hospital lobbying groups to oppose. Medicare for All announced on Friday that it is launching a new national ad campaign. We watched it before to get Democrats to abandon the public option. You think Democrats are happen. definitely going to abandon the public able, option, dude. I'm they should 100% be for Medicare for All, With okay? Leaders, they should 100% be running on Medicare for All so that and at the very least, when they get to the bargaining table, they can lower that, lower the stakes, and maybe concede to a public option and i don't even think they're going to go to the bargaining my table with a public Steelers. option this is exactly at the heart of my frustration with the democratic party and we're watching it happen right before our eyes and this is why i always say like it doesn't matter who i vote for this is why i'm not like like this is so bad dude i wonder what all the neoliberals who kept telling us like the public option is actually better because more people want it than medicare for all are gonna say now when joe biden abandons that too i wonder what they'll say staring at our broken healthcare system it's disgusting to me that joe biden uses his dead family members over and over again to stand in the face of true progress a stepping stone towards full-blown nationalized health care stands against that by using his dead family members has addy barkin and numerous other people who have survived cancer treatments and whatnot on at the dnc the night of the convention to say hey you don't deserve free health care, Jack. Something that all of these other comparable nations have been able to provide for you or would be able to provide for you here in the richest nation on earth. You don't deserve it. Why is the public Before option Donald better Trump, than the ACA? What the f are you talking about? Do you understand? Public option at the very least is like literally some form of socialized medicine. It's the government. It's a government backed program that you can buy into. The other one is just our current completely fucking broken healthcare structure that we have right now where the government subsidizes healthcare, uh, private healthcare corporations. Uh, you can say triggered all you want, you dumb f Your family is going to suffer. Thank you for advocating for this f future. It's very exciting. Oh, does your dad have diabetes? Sorry, $400 a f month, dude. That's what you got to pay now for insulin. Oh, dude, you're so triggered. Yeah, I'm f triggered. I'm triggered because one, I want Medicare for all. We deserve Medicare for all. But two, at the very least, if we can't get Medicare for all, at least give us what you promised, Jack. The public option is something that Obama ran on already and failed to push through 12 years ago. Are we really? We can't even push for change from 12 years back? Really? We're going to concede? Like literally the concession? Fuck this shit, dude. This is not my fault party i'm ashamed to be wearing this even god damn it i'm so disgusted i don't give a fuck how many of joe biden's relatives died okay i don't give a single fuck. this is about what you can do for me okay this is what voting is supposed to be about now i obviously vote for harm reduction and advocate for that point of view but how the fuck are you going to captivate anybody when you can't even seize the moment during a fucking pandemic to be like we need some form of comprehensive socialized health care in this goddamn country instead of talking about it like it's a luxury item that's going to be made more affordable this is healthcare we're talking about god damn it we really fucking deserve another four fucking years I i'm if we get another four years i'm either going to get killed by some white supremacist or go to jail as the, the ceo of antifa but it, we deserve it i'll just rot voting is about what you can do for the people that you represent okay this nonsensical bottom of the barrel argument because you know for a fact that the other side is much much worse is disgusting to me and that is the reason why we have donald trump and that's precisely the reason why the next republican is going to be like a literal ideologically minded fascist and not just one that is utilizing proto-fascism or fascism in general to to win because he's a narcissistic dipshit who doesn't give a fuck about anything else we're gonna have an actual 
fascists in this country get elected into a position of power because the Democrats can't do shit. They've shown over and over again that if someone is just interested in f***ing everything up, even if it's for purely personal gain, the Democrats are never going to stop. Every step of the way, they're going to concede. Hi, I'm former Secretary of State Colin Powell. 100 years ago, a young immigrant left a dirt farm in Jamaica. Jamaican for the woman, Zoomers in the chat, this dude lied to the they rest of the world to justify invading army. Iraq. He no. talked about how Up conflicted he was after the fact. And now he's about to tell us that State. that administration that forced him to lie to the rest of the world to go and invade Iraq, the death toll of millions that he is personally responsible for, that mother is not going to tell us how Donald Trump is worse than George W. Bush. It was a friendship that shouldn't have worked. John. A former Navy pilot just released from a North Vietnamese prison. We've always been willing. We thought the other guy was right. I f***ing hate John Cross McCain so much. Arms. Like, Trust why is this dipshit being honored done, on the f***ing DNC? Government. At the and Democratic National Convention, could you, ex knew that would you ever expect Republicans to ever be like, him? the only f***ing people that Republicans would ever honor as Democrats would be Dixiecrats. Republicans would only honor Dixiecrats, you know what I mean? Like. White supremacist Democrats. That's the, the only people that would ever get a mention. And Meanwhile, we're like forward. sucking off John McCain. I'm, he was cool, you, you dick. Yeah, yeah, he was cool. He, he dropped yeah. six. In, um, he dropped six American military planes in Vietnam. So, or, or leading up to Vietnam as well, and also in Vietnam. So yeah, he is a bigger revolutionary than you and I ever will be. But outside of that, no. I, I wasn't big on the whole date scene thing, but when I met Jill. I fell in love with her when I saw her. Okay, this is some good shit. So That's what I'm talking about, dude. Yeah. Oh, Thursday, no, I want to no, know I'm more really about busy. how Joe Biden. No, I'm busy okay. Friday. That's what I want to know. Thank you. Give us some. Buddy, give us some like actual shit. You know what I mean? Cover. Joe Biden. He's got strong he's semen. Sense. That's what he's got. <laughs> Are people fucking insane? Like, do they not? Do people legitimately not understand how this fucking works? Like, if, why is the MSNBC did not endorse Joe Biden? I hereby second the nomination of Senator Bernard Sanders of Vermont. Like, like is this a, it, what the f is this? Are they trying to fucking clickbait? Like, what's happening? It's literally a part of the convention rules, man. What the f What a disgusting f thing to do. AOC's endorsement of Bernie Sanders does not mean anything. Joe Biden is still the f nominee. It's just that convention rules require... For people who got over the f threshold, and Bernie Sanders did, to be nominated by someone. Like, th this is how it works. It's like totally f symbolic, dude. Are they insane? Like, why are they acting like she's doing something bold or brave even? I I this is so weird. Like, I, I don't understand. Her appearance was part of the procedure of the convention, given a nod to the person who came in second place of the delegate count. Yeah. So, why is this the title? ignores Biden in brief remarks. Four days after Bo's funeral, I watched Joe shave and put on his suit. I saw him steal himself in the mirror, take a breath, put his shoulders back, and walk out into a world empty of our son. He went back to work. That's just who he is. Joe's purpose has always driven him forward. His strength of will is unstoppable, and his faith is unshakable. Because it's not in politicians or political parties, or even in himself. It's in the providence of God. His faith is in you, in us. Americans of all walks of life are putting their shoulders back, fighting for each other. We haven't given up. We just need leadership worthy of our nation, worthy of you, honest leadership to bring us I together. I hate this, dude. This to sucks so bad. Democrats are once again leadership going into really super tricky territory. Be. This That's is Joe. a losing strategy, he, dude. We're not talking about what we're going to give people. And instead, better. we're talking about why you got to vote and for Joe I Biden because it's family got decimated you got to vote for joe biden because he's the I best at mourning you got to vote for joe biden because joe he was president. good friends with john Please mccain this is the second 2016 election over and over again like we're just i think we're just permanently going to run the same 
losing strategy forever. I just, I hate this so much. You forget that two thirds of America is religious? What the f does that have to do with? Dude, just because you're Christian doesn't mean Joe Biden's entire f family died is a good marketing strategy. Like what, are Christians f dumb or something? Like, are they just gonna be like, oh, whoa, his family died. They don't give a f Evangelicals voted for Donald Trump. What the f are you talking about? Why? Because Donald Trump gives them something. Donald Trump gives them something. Joe Biden gives us nothing. Tell us what he's going to give us. That's how you make people vote for you. You want me to go back to the Pringles analogy from last night? Marketing is important to differentiate yourself from other brands. But beyond that, ultimately, when you open a can of Pringles, there's some potatoes in there. You know what you're getting. You're getting sustenance. Democrats are just all marketing and nothing else. What, are, what am I going to get? What am I going to get beyond not Trump? We did this already. We did not Trump already. It's not enough. There is no reason to do a game of margins with a psychopathic fascist like Donald Trump. And we're literally doing game of margins again. I want Joe Biden to win. I want Joe Biden to defeat Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump's second term will be significantly worse for the near future of this country, especially than a Joe Biden presidency. I want that to happen. What's going on right now is preventing that from happening. The further and further we move away from coronavirus's peak, if it doesn't peak again in November, like the, the, the epidemiologists predict it will, but the further and further we move away from the first peak of coronavirus, the more Trump will pick up the f gap between him and Joe Biden. That 10 point lead is already being shortened. Donald Trump for the past two weeks has already been picking up in the polls. So right now, Joe Biden at the very least, when all eyes are on him, has to just say something like, we, need, we, we are different than the Republicans. Not for unity, not for civility, none of this horse shit that only dumbass people care about. The people who hate Donald Trump hate Donald Trump because he's rude, but Republicans will still vote for Donald Trump because Donald Trump gives them something. If you're a poor Republican, he owns the f***ing libs for you, okay? He wins the culture war for you. If you're an evangelical, he says he's going to fight for abortion. He's going to make sure that abortion is as hard to get in this country as possible. Oh, also for the evangelicals, he says, you know, Israel is going to be from, uh, from the river to the sea all the way to Egypt, uh, we're going to give that back to the chosen sons of God so that Jesus can come back to earth and rapture can happen and all that good stuff, okay, that psychotic evangelicals believe. So he gives evangelicals something. He gives his base something. He offers them something. Joe Biden and the Democratic Party only offer the base, which includes me too, by the way, holy shit, the idea that they're not Donald Trump. And we did that with Hillary Clinton in 2016 and it didn't work. And we're doing that again right now. The only way that Joe Biden loses right now is if Americans forget how horrific Donald Trump has been so far. And Donald Trump is doing a great job making people forget by focusing on other catastrophes in the near vicinity, in the near future, by creating more commotion elsewhere. People are no longer paying attention to a thousand plus Americans dying every day of coronavirus because we're no longer at the shutdown peak. We're no longer at the peak of coronavirus where 3,000 people were dying a day. Because American people are dumb as fuck, they're going to forget about all that shit. And then Donald Trump is going to be able to potentially win by a small margin because of how broken this election system is, how broken our electoral system is, because that inequality is built into the structure. The very fabric of American democracy is already broken fundamentally as a consequence of the unequal way that the Senate is built, and also the Electoral College and gerrymandering on top of that and redistricting on top of that in the Congress. So it doesn't need to be a game of margins, but it's a game of margins that always benefits Republicans, okay? That's why they can win with even, uh, uh, even though they lose the popular vote. So Joe Biden can't fuck around right now. If you really want to win, you can't fuck around. And right now they're fucking around. So do not misunderstand me. When I criticize Joe Biden or the DNC, 